Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you my shower routine. If you guys want to check out any of the products that I used in this video, they will all be linked below. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. So now let's get into the video. I start off my shower by turning on the shower, of course, and I like to take hot showers. So occasionally I will use these Vicks Vapo Shower Shower Bombs. They are amazing, but I love them so much I don't like to use it every shower. It's basically a shower bomb, but it smells like Vicks, so it clears your sinuses, and oh my gosh, if you haven't discovered these, please order them now. They're amazing. This is not sponsored, by the way. They're just life-changing. I always wash my hair first thing in the shower, so the shampoo I use is the Lacetta Perfect Bonding Number One Shampoo. I just lather this in in my hair focusing on the roots of my hair and the areas that get the most oily so that's gonna be like my baby hairs especially if I have just worked out so I make sure to rinse everything out thoroughly because leftover products in my hair like shampoo or conditioner will make me break out like on my forehead or on my neck or my upper back so then I move on to my conditioner this is a deep conditioner and I don't use this every time I wash my hair. I use it about once a week or once every two weeks. I just lather this in my hair. It's extremely creamy and it detangles my hair so it's super easy to comb through. I'm using this wooden comb which by the way is also awesome. So then I just put my hair up in a butterfly clip and I let this sit in my hair and then I move on to some other things in the shower. So now I want to talk about feminine hygiene. So obviously I'm not going to show this but I will discuss it. So for washing that area, I don't use anything fancy. I don't use anything with any heavy perfumes or perfumes period. And I also don't use any of those products that you can buy at like CVS or Target that are intended to clean that area because I just think that that is a waste of money. All I use is Dove Soap for sensitive skin and this works perfectly fine. I just lather it within my hands and then I clean that area. Obviously staying on the outside. So for shaving, I actually have a whole in-depth video on how I do this, but just really quick, I like to use Big Soleil razors and this suave conditioner. And then when I'm done, I rinse everything off so there's no more conditioner on the area and then I'm good to go. While I have the conditioner in my hair, I like to shave my armpits. One of the things that is key for me is making sure that I have scrubbed them down so that there is no more deodorant on my armpits. I found that deodorant is hard to get off, so I just make sure to get it all off and then I just shave. Nothing fancy. I don't use any conditioner or anything to shave my armpits. It's just super simple. So I also love using a quartz roller in the shower. So some of the benefits that I like from this quartz roller is that it helps to relax the muscles in my jaw which helps with TMJ and also it helps to increase circulation in my skin which helps to give me a brighter complexion. So I leave the conditioner in my hair for about five minutes and then I thoroughly rinse it out making sure everything is rinsed out of my hair. Then once it's all rinsed out I will just put it up in one of these butterfly clips until I get out of the shower. So I like to do this so that nothing gets in my hair like when I'm washing my body. And now I move on to washing my body. So I like to use a washcloth and just a bar of Dove unscented soap. I lather it on as you can see here and then I lather it all over my body. So I have found that this really helps to keep me 100% clean. Like sometimes I feel like when I use the bar of soap and I have to lather it in between my hands, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't do as good of a job. But when I use it on a washcloth, I can ensure that I'm getting fully clean. So I really like to clean behind my ears. I think that is super important as well as on my neck just because you can get a lot of buildup of like oil and sweat in that area. So anyway, then I use Castile soap just like one or two drops to clean my upper back because I tend to get back acne on my upper back from like leftover conditioner in my hair even if I've rinsed it out as much as possible. 
and the Castile soap is super strong, so it really helps to keep that area extremely clean and oil-free. So after I have washed my body, I then move on to using a scrub. So this is the Lemon Blueberry Tart Scrub by Tree Hut, and I love this scrub. It smells so good, and it makes my skin look incredibly smooth. It almost looks like my skin is polished. It just looks so good, and it feels really smooth too. So I just put this on all over my body, exfoliating everywhere. I'm gonna get into this in a second, but I always exfoliate before I shave, but I also exfoliate areas that I'm not gonna shave but just like a huge tip to avoid ingrown hairs and razor bumps is to exfoliate before you shave so I recently started to use this Olay body conditioner I got this at Target but you can get it off Amazon and I will link it below it is so amazing so you just rub it on your body and then you rinse it off right after and it makes your skin feel really really smooth so then I wash my face I save this for last so I don't get any shampoo or conditioner on my face and if I do then I can just rinse it off and clean it off with my face wash so I like to use Dove unscented soap to wash my face I have a ton of videos on this if you guys want to check those out I will link those below essentially I just rinse it off and then I move on to shaving so for shaving the lower part of my body I shave down there obviously I shave my stomach and then I shave my legs so first I clean the area that I'm gonna shave which right here I'm showing you guys is my stomach I know you can't see here but it's been about two weeks since I've shaved and if you look up close you can clearly tell so once I'm done washing my stomach I will then go on to exfoliating if you guys have a hairy stomach and you are self-conscious about it try shaving it I know a lot of people think that it will grow back thicker but I never have that problem as you guys can see you can't even really tell that I have hair on my stomach and I've been shaving it for a long time so I really like to use conditioner to shave I use conditioner to shave everywhere except for my face and my armpits and the razors that I like to use are the Bic Soleil razors so I literally just apply the conditioner all over my stomach and then I shave so for my stomach I shave in the opposite direction from which the hair grows so that is in all the directions that you can see and I always get around my belly button and I know for a lot of people this may look kind of cringy and weird and like I don't know like it would hurt but it doesn't hurt at all and it leaves my stomach so so smooth so then for cleaning like my feet and my legs and shaving that area I start off by cleaning my legs and my feet the same exact way that I clean my stomach and like my arms and chest with a washcloth and the Dove unscented soap so I just make sure to clean everywhere thoroughly because if I don't do this and then I end up shaving, then I will get an ingrown hair or I'll get razor bumps. It's really important for my skin at least to make sure that it is fully clean and exfoliated before shaving. So then I use the sugar scrub. I use this all over my legs and on my feet. I am really obsessed with making sure that my feet are super clean. I don't know if everyone else is like that, but I've just always been weird about my feet. They need to be clean like at all times. So about once a week, I'll use a pumice stone. This is just really important for me because I get calluses around my big toe and on my heels. So to prevent that, I just try to use this weekly in the summertime. I'll use it maybe twice a week just because my feet are being shown more like in sandals, but because it's winter, I just do it once a week. Then I always scrub my toenails. I don't know if people do this. I don't know if I'm an outlier here, but I do this every shower because you just never know what is getting underneath your toenails. If you don't do this, I'm sorry to say, but you probably have a lot of dirt under there. I also scrub my fingernails because that's another place that you can get buildup of dirt and it could just be really gross. So then to shave, I use conditioner as I use on my stomach. I apply it all over my legs and then I use my Big Soleil razors and I shave 
my legs, I shave my knees, my thighs, everywhere. I shave in the opposite direction from which the hair grows all over my leg because that gives me the closest shave. And I do that on both legs, obviously. And my legs look so incredibly smooth after I've shaved them. As you guys can see, they almost look glossy and it is thanks to my shower routine. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed my shower routine. Don't forget to check the description where I will have links to every single product that I used in this video. Also, if you guys want to see my pamper routine, you guys can click here. I will put the link right up there. And then if you guys want to see my night routine, I will put the link for that right here. Now that I've bombarded you with links, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time.